Hi guys! Um, again, hair and stuff. Uh, pajamas, I'm sorry. I'm about to go to work for day 17 in a row. Except for the one day where I mysteriously didn't have to go to work and then I went and saw the Avengers instead. I finally get a day off on Friday and Saturday, so that's technically two days off. I'm sure that if I get in my car to go anywhere, I will just autopilot go to work and ugh. So Elizabeth, your video yesterday that I just finished watching on urban legends about your area, so I decided to look up urban legends around where I live. There is an Ohio Exploration Society and you can find haunted locations and legends of different counties. Some of these I do know because around Halloween time when I was in elementary school and high school we would always say, oh, I'm gonna go do this thing because it's haunted. Like five points, the five point intersection. On one of these roads, there's a bridge. So if you go and park underneath the bridge and turn your car off and put the keys on the roof of your car, you will supposedly feel the ghosts of children who died in a car crash start to push your car out of the way. Um, and also on Five Point, there's a cornfield, and supposedly if you go and park there on a foggy autumn night and face the cornfield, then the green man will come out of the cornfield. And he is green because he was struck and killed by lightning. And another one at Five Points, a lot of things at Five Points, if you go to the abandoned railroad tracks near there, there are a lot of abandoned railroad tracks around here, um, you park your car, or you put your car in neutral on the tracks, bad ideas, and you honk your horn three times, a phantom train will appear heading straight for your car. That's not something that I would want to do at all, anytime. Um, hmm, let's see what else. There's a very long list of things. Uh, the satellite campus for Kent State University, um, apparently used to be a retirement home. So night workers will always hear kinds of knocking and tapping noises and see people who shouldn't be there but they aren't and it's just supposed to be the ghosts of workers who used to work at the retirement home or people who died at the retirement home. There's a bunch of things about the Underground Railroad that used to be here too. That's very interesting. Um, I didn't realize, I knew that there were some things that were about the Underground Railroad but I didn't realize that it was so many things like the uh... there was apparently a tunnel underneath the river and it collapsed at one point and a bunch of slaves were trapped in there and they screamed until they died apparently so if you go if on cool autumn nights one can still hear their screams uh, so yeah, that's actually interesting now that I'm looking at all of these things. I'm going to see if I can find other counties around here nearby and see what sorts of interesting things I can find because that would be kind of interesting to go and check out some of these places and do a little ghost hunting because as much as I realize that it's probably a bunch of hooey, it's still just kind of fun to think about. So. That's it for me for today. I gotta go back to work uh, for the 17th day in a row. <sighs> okay, but at least I'm on 8-hour days now. I'm not doing 10 hours anymore, so I get to come home at 1 o'clock instead of 3 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys later. Okay, bye!